What if a card reader fails? What if a person is verified, but his fingerprint cannot be authenticated? We have worked together with all registered political parties and agreed on what to do if any of these has arisen. In the highly unlikely event that a card reader fails, we have enough spares to deploy before the end of the accreditation at 1 p.m. and then adjust the time to gain for lost time where or if a card reader has failed. If we cannot replace before the end of accreditation, then the election in that particular voting point would be postponed to the following day when a new card reader will be provided for the election. And we agreed with political parties to do this because if you say if a card reader fails, then revert to manual. We are worried that then everywhere it will revert to manual because there are many people who don't want the card reader to be used. If a voter's permanent voter's card has been read and his or her details have been verified, but his fingerprints cannot be authenticated, or he or she has no fingers, an incidence form would be written by the presiding officer of the voting point and the voter would then be accredited. Party agents and observers will be there to testify to this. In the next few weeks, the Commission hopes to utilize, as I mentioned earlier on, the six weeks period of extension to organize more extensive public enlightenment and testing of the card readers. But we've already done a number of tests. The INEC Chairman, Professor Atahiru Ujega. Meanwhile, the Independent 